So welcome back to microbial concepts. So in this video, we are going to discuss about dairy microbiology related some interview questions. Okay, around 15 to 16 interview questions I have listed here. So already these are the videos which are related to dairy microbiology and I have covered some topics and these videos are uploaded on my channel. So you can refer these topics as well for your interview. For example, you may get questions on types of milk that is skim milk, okay, tone milk, what is the difference between that, etc. Then related to the microflora in raw milk also on that you may get question. So other than that, what are the different types of pasteurization? Okay, so these are some videos which you can also refer for your interview. So let's start with this video. So first is what is dairy microbiology and why it is important in dairy industry okay so we know that dairy industry in dairy industry there are different types of products which are manufactured and then they are uh, sold in the market so there are different stages where microbiology comes into the picture okay so dairy microbiology is the study of microorganisms in the milk and dairy related products so to ensure the product safety, then quality and the shelf life by controlling these spoilage organisms, we prevent the growth of harmful pathogens as well. Okay, so thus you can see in um, the raw milk is first treated, it is pasteurized, then it is used for making other products related to dairy. Okay, so there also the starter cultures are required then to um detect whether there is a contamination or not then how to prevent that contamination then other than that when the product is ready you need to check it in qc for the uh, presence of pathogens harmful pathogens whether the product is safe for human consumption or not then during the transportation the shelf life is to be monitored okay so during the shelf life during the storage the shelf life is not affected by unwanted organism that is what is also the role of microbiology or the microbiologist so we are required in the dairy industry so what is the role of microorganisms in the production of dairy products so different types of microorganisms are used in dairy industry so they play a very crucial role in the production of dairy products how uh, mainly the, the mechanism is like they ferment lactose to lactic acid okay and this imparts different flavors textures to the products now this depends on what type of product uh, the industry is manufacturing whether it is cheese it is yogurt okay etc then by producing enzymes that helps in the breakdown of proteins and fats so this is the role of microorganism basic role of microorganisms in the dairy product then you may get another question like can you list some of the common spoilage microorganisms which are found in dairy products and their effects so common spoilage microorganisms are like yeast the like candida or uh, debryomyces and molds like penicillin and aspergillus and they cause off flavors texture changes and visual defects which lead to the product deterioration and consumer rejection okay then you may get another question like what is milk fermentation okay so stormy fermentation is another cross question that you may get um, in your interview so in this question another question is which microorganisms or are, are involved in the fermentation so milk fermentation is the process where microorganisms the starter cultures that we add they convert lactose which is the main primary sugar of milk so lactose is converted into lactic acid okay and these microorganisms they are involved in the milk fermentation are predominantly lactic acid bacteria such as lactobacillus and streptococcus species okay then what are the primary sources of microbial contamination in the dairy products what are the sources for microbial contamination can you list some so this can be another question like uh, so you can answer like yes the primary sources are first and very basic is raw milk now even uh, this can be a detailed answer like even the animal the odor the person who is uh, 
milking the animal the hands if they are not clean they are dirty then that can be uh, another source for contamination then the vessels which are used for collecting raw milk those can be also a source of contamination then contaminated equipments like the one which are used for storage utensils etc and the environment in which the milk is processed and stored now contamination can occur from various microorganisms ex uh, examples like bacteria yeast and molds then what are the major pathogens of concern in dairy industry and their associated illnesses okay so there are many pathogens but uh, as this is your interview you can list at least 3 so you can say salmonella which causes salmonellosis e coli which causes diarrheal illness then listeria monocytogens which causes listeriosis or campylobacter jejuni then staphylococcus aureus etc then they cause gastrointestinal symptoms such as diarrhea abdominal pain sometimes fever and in some cases severe complications complications can be seen then what is pasteurization and its significance in dairy microbiology now you may also get the question like what is difference between pasteurization and tindalization um who invented this technique etc okay so pasteurization is the process of heating milk to specific temperature and hold it for a certain period of time so we can destroy the harmful bacteria and pathogens which are present in the milk and while preserving its natural value so the natural value of milk is not getting affected in pasteurization you have to mention this then its significance is that it helps to ensure the safety of dairy products by reducing the risk of food borne illnesses and thus extending their shelf life okay then what are some key factors which are uh, affecting the microbial growth in dairy product so key factors are first is temperature optimal growth at certain ranges then moisture content higher moisture promotes higher microbial growth ph level so neutral to slightly acidic conditions they favor mostly bacteria okay and the availability of nutrients such as proteins and the sugar that is lactose okay so these are the uh, main key factors which affect the microbial growth in dairy products then another is what is the importance of hygiene practices in dairy processing facilities so hygiene practices are very important right so we don't want any type of contamination while uh, milk processing or any fermentation so we do proper gowning we use all the safety equipments right so that is the hygiene practice okay this is to ensure the production of safe and high quality dairy products and preventing microbial contamination thus reducing the risk of any food borne illnesses and thus maintains the consumers confidence in the industry now this is about the testing so what is total plate count and its significance now tpc that is total plate count is the method which is used to estimate the total number of viable microorganisms okay total number of viable the one which are live they can be grown by this particular test okay and they can be counted for example everything here is getting counted yeast bacteria and mold all of these are getting counted together thus the total number of viable microorganisms okay not total viable bacteria not total viable fungi total viable microorganisms okay in a sample by counting the colonies that grow on agar plate it is important as it indicates the overall overall microbial load okay present in the sample and thus the hygiene of the dairy product helping to assess the safety and the shelf life of that product then what is the role of starter cultures in cheese production okay so now if you are applying for qc then you may also get some questions related to um how to detect fats okay what are the percentage um, criteria then what is the starter culture how will you test that whether it is pure or not okay etc all those kind of questions which 
are or the methods which are followed in QC depending on that you will get all these those questions. So what is the role of starter culture in cheese production and their impact on microbial safety and quality. So not just in cheese production in any kind of microbial uh, sorry dairy related product uh, we use microbial starter cultures. Okay now that depends on what type of product is getting manufactured. So starter cultures they are um, for example you can also uh, relate those to inoculums okay that we uh, use in our different experiments in our lab. So starter cultures are essential in cheese production as they contribute to flavor development then texture and pH regulation. So those are the cultures which start the uh, fermentation which starts contributing to the flavors textures and pH regulations and thus it gives a unique test and texture to the cheese. So they also play a crucial role in microbial safety and quality by inhibiting the growth of harmful bacteria, promoting desirable microbial fermentation and enhancing the preservation and shelf life of cheese production. Okay, thus the starter culture is very important in dairy industry. Then what about antibiotics? Right, so another question related to antibiotic can be what is antimicrobial resistance? Uh, then the one which I have listed here, what is the role of antibiotics in dairy, far, uh, dairy farming or dairy industry and the issue of antimicrobial resistance? So antibiotics are used in dairy farming to treat and prevent bacterial infections in cows. Okay, till that it is okay. But what if antibiotics are getting misused or overused. So what will happen? So they will contribute to development of antimicrobial resistance in bacteria, posing a significant public health concern and reducing the effectiveness of antibiotics in both and both animals and humans. Okay. Now what is antimicrobial resistance? So bacteria, they are not susceptible to the antibiotics. These bacteria, they get uh, uh, adapted to the uh, given antibiotic so they have developed some um, mode of resistance so that the, and they can target the antibiotic itself and they can inactivate the antibiotic okay so now the antibiotic is not that effective on the given uh, culture okay so another is related to biofilms so you may get cross questions like what is biofilm do you know how biofilms are formed okay what are its significance or significance in dairy industry what are the disadvantages or what is the effect on uh, product safety in dairy industry like that questions so biofilms in the dairy industry they can pose a significant impact on product safety as they provide a protective environment for pathogens and spoilage microorganisms right they produce um, exopolysaccharides okay very sticky material which protects these pathogens or spoilage causing microorganisms and if they start flourishing inside your fermenter then you will definitely get contamination and thus it affects the product safety and product quality right so making uh, making more resistant what pathogens and spoilage microorganisms they get the more resistant to the cleaning and sanitation measures thereby increasing the risk of microbial contamination in the dairy products okay so already uh, two three videos related to biofilm are uh, uploaded on my channel so you can also check those videos then very important topic that is uh, microbial cultures which are used and enzymes which are used in dairy industry okay also refer this topic so name some important enzymes which are used in dairy industry and their role in dairy processing so i have listed here six you can at least uh, answer two to three okay so rennet or chymosin it is used in cheese making to coagulate milk proteins that is casein and to form curd then lactase it is used to it is used in lactose free dairy products to break down lactose making it more suitable for lactose intolerant individuals okay then lipase it is used in cheese making to enhance flavor development by breaking down milk fats into fatty acids 
then proteases it is used in cheese making to assist in protein break breakdown and contributing the texture and flavor development then next is amylase which is used uh, in dairy based desserts to break down starch into simple sugars and enhancing the sweetness and texture and last is catalase which is used to prevent or reduce oxidative damage by breaking down the hydrogen peroxide which can affect the quality and shelf life of dairy products okay so try to at least answer 3 to 4 then what are the challenges and strategies for controlling microbial contamination in dairy processing so now uh, we have seen what are the sources of microbial contamination in dairy processing so now what are the challenges and strategies for controlling it so challenges are like maintaining strict hygiene practices then preventing cross contamination and ensuring proper sanitation sanitation okay then strategies involve implementing robust cleaning and sanitation protocols then training each and every employee on good manufacturing practices that is gmp then conducting regular testing and monitoring of the product then utilizing technologies like pasteurization uv radiation to kill and reduce microbial load okay then last is what is sensory evaluation in dairy products and its relationship to microbiology so sensory evaluation is assessing their sensory attributes assessing the sensory attributes of a given dairy product by human evaluators okay so there are some food uh, evaluators which uh, analyze the test aroma and texture of a given um, dairy item okay so for example here you can see these are the sensory attributes for cheese the appearance of cheese aroma test texture by mouth feel texture by hand okay these are the characteristics definition and depending on that they give rating and then the product is decided whether it has to be commercialized or not or, or are there any modifications improvement to be done okay so microbiologists they play a role as certain microbial activities such as fermentation by starter culture or spoilage by pathogens it can influence the sensory characteristics of a dairy product thus impacting overall quality and acceptability of that product so this is the relation of microbiology to the sensory evaluation okay what are the sensory attributes taste texture aroma etc okay so thus the microbes they can affect these attributes a microbiologist or a microbiology plays a very important role right so these are uh, questions ranging from basic to advanced so i hope this video is helpful to you and do give a thumbs up do share this videos with your friends and do subscribe to my channel thank you